Dev Delight, development done right. A flex, it's time to get it hype. Tune in, trust you don't want to miss. Teaching you programming and coding and JavaScript. All about developing the knowledge to succeed. Computer science background, work with many startup companies. A flex, time to give the people your advice. Dev Delight, development done right. Hey, yeah. Development done. In this tutorial, I'm going to go through the TensorFlow.js transfer learning image classifier tutorial. I'm going to post a link to this tutorial in the YouTube video description as well, so you can follow along. I suggest you pause this video and open up that link right now. TensorFlow is a popular library in Python, but now you can also use it in JavaScript, and that's why it's called TensorFlow.js for JavaScript. In this tutorial, we're going to be using a pre-trained model called MobileNet, which will help us do image classification. And we're also going to be using a technique called transfer learning, which is going to utilize our webcam. If you don't have a webcam, well, that's your issue. But we will use this technique and the webcam to train our model. And this is what this tutorial is going to show us. Let's get started. So requirements are you need Chrome, you need to be able to edit the code. I'm going to be using VI, then basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Let's move on. Wow, we're already on step three out of nine. We're moving really fast. So let's create this index.html. Let me paste the code right here. So as you can see, what it's doing, it's loading TensorFlow over here, and it's loading the image classification model. We also have some divs. Well, one div console. This is where we're going to be printing out our predictions. It's including an image that we're going to use to test. And we are including index.js that we didn't create yet. I'm guessing we're going to do that in step four. Boom. Okay. So let's create index.js to set up our mobile net image classification model. Let's copy paste this into index.js. So what this is doing is creating a model. Once it's loaded, it console logs it in our browser. Then it selects our image and then it uses the mobile net library we loaded into the net to classify that image and prints out the result. Pretty simple really, but if you're a beginner and this is kind of too much for you, just pause the video, look at the code and analyze it line by line. So let's go next. We're already on step five. We're moving fast. Let's open index.html in our browser. Let me open that. Boom, as you can see, this is the dog that we included over here in the image. Let me open the inspector to see what's going on there. So what's happening is we're canceling out that we loaded the model, mobile net. Let me actually open the JS file. So you see where we're printing console.log, successfully loaded model. That's right here. And we got the image using document.getElementById. That's our dog right there. And then we use the mobile net model to classify the image and print out the result which is the array right here. Let's open that up. Isn't that cool? It's classifying the dog. I'm not gonna even attempt to pronounce this. So let's move on to the next one. Step six. Now we're gonna make this more interactive. And we're going to include the code for the webcam into our index.html.
Do you guys want to keep the dog? Oh, let's remove it so it doesn't get in the way. My apologies, dog lovers, but I had to get rid of that. Anyways, so index.js. What we're going to do is access our webcam by element ID. Because as you can see right here, our video ID is webcam. So we're accessing it by using document.getElementById webcam. I'm just going to insert it over here. Next, in the same index.js, to set up the webcam function, we need to add this function, setup webcam. And make sure you add that before the app function call, which is over here. So what happens here is we get the navigator object that contains different information about the browser. And what we do here is using navigator object, we call get user media, which basically asks us in the browser for permission to use our webcam because the browser is not just going to allow you access to the webcam through the code, unless you hack it somehow. But what you want to do is as the client, can we use your webcam? And that's what's happening here. And once it gets permission, and if it's true, it sets our web element object to the stream from our webcam. That's pretty much what this does. Now, another thing we need to do, as it says here, we need to set up a new app function. And we'll just replace our old app with a new code. Boom. All right, let's test that now in the browser. Remember, we removed the dog and set up new code. Okay, notice, see, it's asking me, let's use your camera. Let me allow that. Boom, my camera is on. For some reason, it thinks I'm spatula. But let's, uh, let's show a coffee cup. It thinks it's a crock, yep, coffee mug. Wow, Alexa is going crazy today. Okay, let's uh, let's show a banana. Wow. Okay. No, it's a banana. That's great. Let's show the copy mug again. All right. Awesome. All right, let's move on. You can play around with this if you want. So step seven, add a custom classifier on the top of mobile net predictions. So what we're gonna do here is use a different module called K nearest neighbor classifier. And what we're gonna have to do is actually train our model. That's why, as you can see, we have three different buttons. And we're going to train our model using the three categories, A, B, and C. And we're going to classify whatever we show on the webcam. We're going to classify what category it is by pressing the button. It's going to make more sense once we write the code. So we need to add a new script to our index.html. Boom. And we need to add three buttons. Let's set that after our webcam. And you know what? Let's add a PR tag for more space. So at the top of index.js, it wants us to create the classifier. So let's do that. And once again, we got to update the app function. So let's change this whole app function. 
right? So, so what's going to happen is when we load the index.html page, they're going to use different objects or face and body gestures to capture the image for each of the three classes. Each time you click one, add button, one image is added to that class as a training example. While you do this, the model continues to make predictions. All right, so let's refresh. And it asks us for our camera permission again, allow. So as you can see, we have three buttons here, A, B, C. Those are our categories, right? So what we can do is, let's say if I show banana, let's add that to category A. Okay, let's twist the banana and add it to A again. We're training our A classification model category. So now we added a bunch of A's, right? Now let's add a B with the coffee mug. That's going to be our class category B. Okay, we're training it. We're giving it different angles. All right, and for category C, let me pull out my Kindle book. Just C, 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 C. Okay, so we just trained three models with three different objects by clicking, almost like you're taking a picture, right? So let's see, let's first show the banana. Boom, probability one. That Remember, we were training our category A to in include the banana. Now let's show B, coffee mug. Boom, it predicts it's a coffee mug. How about, remember, we trained Kindle to be C. Magic. Excellent. Let's go to the next step in the tutorial. So section A is optional and it's to extend the example. So what it wants you to do is add another class that represents no action. What that means is you need to add button D and you need to train it, basically doing no action, meaning no object, no movement. And then test it out, just like the way I tested out banana, Kindle and the coffee mug and post the code after you do the homework in the comment section and perhaps I'll review it. Let's go to next and that's the end of the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, learned something new, go along with it. Make sure you share this with your friends who are into development or interested in AI because this is a somewhat simple tutorial but as you can see, you can do very powerful things with just a few trained models and a few lines of JavaScript code. All right, don't forget to share, subscribe, like, and I'll see you soon. Boom.